can find. Play button. Here it is. Vicious cultists, dark beasts from beyond the stars, strange parasitic slugs from outer space, and now fish people. What is going on in sleepy little Ilmarsh? You, you, you might wonder. Or maybe you're just wondering when all of this will end. And when can you finally get back to the surface and uh, just chase normal cultists, you know, not these weird ones. But uh, for now, you're stuck down here. Well, uh, technically, you could probably turn back, mm -hmm. but uh, you're following a lead and you're not sure where it's taking you. But it be as, as uh, terrifying as it is, it also gets more and more intriguing as it at the same time gets stranger and stranger the um, current peak in strangeness was the voice you just heard echoing down through the tunnels of this underground maze um, that called out to an Archie, a little crow <laughs> she seems to be looking for. The voice sounded human and like the voice of a woman, a young woman, possibly. It's hard to tell with all the reverberations, but it definitely came from deeper inside. Ugh. And after she calls out once or twice, you hear a uh, distant humming sound and a hushing noise as if she was singing to a baby. Another one? Uh, this, this becomes way too complicated really fast. Uh -huh. Every kid should have a playmate. Hey. <clears throat> We're not adopting another one. Yeah. We're, yeah. Meanwhile, yes, we uh, doctor will take the baby back out in out of the <laughs> bag, and he will ho hold it uh, under the force shield, uh, hopefully to protect. And well, so like em Emeril, what's in there? He he will try to carefully ap approach. Uh, through the piles of dead bodies. Give me a second here. I'm having a little malfunction. It's odd. Ah, okay, give me a second. Did the uh did the fish people have anything interesting on them? Okay, so as uh the doctor takes the lead, uh Alhindri kinda curiously looks over the bodies on the floor. The uh smaller ones, the kind of rank and file gum or fish people as we call them. Uh, don't seem to be have uh, don't seem to have anything of value really. Um, let me check the gear. Uh, they have some tridents that they used to um, poorly defend themselves. Uh, they're not wearing any armor, which instead relying on their natural scales. Um, 
Yeah, that, that seems to be it. The larger one, however, of, of course, his impressive great axe uh, looks like something of value, especially because it's medium sized, even though he is he himself was large. Oh. He's also also wearing an amulet. Um, looks like a seashell on a string. And he was wielding a heavy steel shield. Does the shield and great axe ping as magic? Great axe does, the shield does not. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we can take a deeper look at them later. Well, Hindry looks at that seashell necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that also registers as magic. And uh, yeah, it looks like a like a seashell on a leather string, uh, but the seashell has this this um, shimmering uh, quality to it. Looks quite pretty, mm -hmm. fascinating. This looks pretty and fascinating, I see. but I don't know what to do with it since I can't actually detect magic. Not used to that, are you? Well, you can always uh, try to... Uh, you can identify. always ask me. Yeah, identify it with trial and error. <coughs> I can read magic. I have that cantrip. I just, uh, I don't know if it has anything readable on it. It seems like it Not. doesn't. Yeah. Would you like me to take a look? Sure, Geyer. Come look. It's very pretty. Oh, uh, take... Mm -hmm. My foundry is acting up. Mm -hmm. I don't know about pretty. It's just a bunch of shells, but... Yeah, so taking 10 on your knowledge arcana and spellcraft will suffice um, to identify it as an amulet of natural armor plus 2. Mm -hmm. mm. These shells are meant to protect something. Maybe they'll protect you. She holds it up to her ear and says, I can hear the howl of the endless void in there. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um, an amulet of natural armor plus two. Wow. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. which means it's an enhancement bonus to your natural armor bonus. So uh, even if you already have a natural armor bonus, mm -hmm. it will add to it. So if if it, for example, has natural armor bonus, uh, but it's an amulet, right? It's a it's a next slot item. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it not have yep. a neck? It no, it has something in its neck slot already. Uh, okay. And I believe Alhindri, I believe the Eidolon and the the Summoner share their item slots. I think I was reading that. Interesting. Um. Yeah, because I have nothing on my neck, but I don't think I can wear it. Hmm. Let me double check. Let me double check that. I don't see anything about items. I thought I being, thought or I slots it. being shared. I think they do. Uh, actually, I, 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 I remember seeing that somewhere.
Uh, I'm just searching uh, the SRD page for the word item, and I don't seem to find any match. Glasses summoner. Is it summoner or summoner on chain? I, I don't Well, Hindry is a regular summoner. Do you share senses? Do you share a true connection? Do you share that? No, there is no sharing. Um. The other thing is, does that. Oh boy, is that for unchained summoners or? Somebody on Reddit is quoting something, but that does not seem to be part of the <laughs> PFSRD. Or oh, maybe it's in the Eidolon oh, description. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, uh, share ma magic item slots. Uh, mm -hmm. But they don't benefit from, from them. Okay, so yeah, I so I can basically make no use of this because my Eidolon's already yeah, wearing so. it's, it's something on its neck. So she she offers it up. You should take it, Geyer. This your necklace? No, no. The my dancing partner wears a necklace. I wouldn't want to clash with him. Besides, you le seem like but someone who needs a little extra protecting. Well, I'm perfectly fine if I just stand away. Sure, I appreciate your gift. It's been told it's rude. <clears throat> Show ungratitude. And whenever you get lonely, you can hold it to your ear. And listen to the howl of the endless void. I'll take your word for it. So what's the name of the of the necklace? Nat Amulet of Natural Armor plus two. Unless it's better off in somebody else's hands. I don't know if anyone else has something like that. Uh well, I think almost everyone has uh, yeah has plus one. Uh, uh, so yeah, we have like nine plus ones in stock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of protection plus two, of natural armor per two. Plus two. Yes. Yeah. It will be fine. Cool, 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 cool. All right. And uh, I'm sorry. I have I have a question that I realized. I think I might have missed something essential what tier should alhindri be for mythic levels should she be she tier should, two now she should be tier two yeah okay i, I think i missed bumping up her tier because she's i think i've only got her at tier one check my record i, here in this thing? I know she's she's fought in at least two mythic encounters she may have have done three by now. I already had an amulet of natural armor plus one. Mm -hmm. This one is plus two. You will be more natural. You did. I know she did the Hounds of Tindalos. She did the the first beast that we fought in at the the church, and I think there's been another. Yeah, the Shantak, but the Shantak uh, we didn't count because you. Yeah, you but it's retreat. but to to reach second tier you only need two. Yeah, yeah. Two encounters. No, to, right? so to reach second tier you only need one, which you had, and you are halfway. On your way to the. Okay. Okay. Third one. So she's had. She's already had three encounters, which puts her at tier two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And uh, the others are tier three, is that right? Uh, no, I think uh, we are also two. Still, two. Th I think they're at two, but they're just they're just. Wait, 
No, but if we had... Not, uh, no, no, the, 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 the Hounds of Tindalos were supposed to be one of our trials, and it was the trial that uh, Al bumped Alhindri to level 2. And so the, yeah, that, we are basically one, yeah, yeah, one yeah. encounter ahead of her. Yeah, oh, okay, my, so, so that, they're halfway to three, and she yes. is just at two. Okay. Then my record is correct. I have Alhindri at zero of two trials, and Gaia, mm -hmm. Dr. Emeril at one of two trials. Okay, okay, I got that's, it. That's correct. Okay, so she I, I should be bumping up her tier. Such a simple thing to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, maybe you want to take care of that before we move on. I'll be doing that in the background. Okay. All right. So yeah, you go went over there. The remains. The voice does not continue to call out for Archie, and instead, every now and then, you just get this faint. I swear, if, if that's another haunt, I will. I don't think I don't think I will do anything really. Oh, I should proceed slowly anyway. As you uh, step into the southern chamber, you find uh, several shallow pools that have collected on the floor and a number of natural stone columns. Great smears of dried black ichor stain one wall above the corpses of two fish-like humanoids, obviously the victims of great violence, but not of yours. Do they look like the ones we just fought? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just a quick look at the chamber. Uh, well, you find the scum's strange personal belongings and bits of rubbish and about a dozen gems scattered about, uh, each worth probably around 50 gold pieces, so 12 times 50 gold pieces in gems. That's And quick. a brooch and two bracelets made of that strange reddish fish gold. And those should be worth about 450 altogether. Uh, I'm sorry, the, 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 a brooch worth 450 GP? Brooch and two bracelets together worth 450. <laughs> okay. I might be slowly going mad in this but place, but... Oh, was that an echo? Oh, sorry. I might be go slowly going mad in this place, but maybe we should let the huge tentacle monster go forth instead of us. Uh, Alhindri uh, kind of looks at doctor the doctor and she's and she says uh, it can always uh, take the lead in this dance if you wish where's Geyer hmm. I, I don't know Sorry, I'm why are we whispering like was around making noise so I uh. muted myself so you sent it ahead of the group down the tunnel, and Emerald stepping up right oh, behind oh. him. And uh, yeah, why don't you move a little further, just so you can see into the room around the corner? Because as you get to this sort of three-way intersection from the western tunnel, you perceive this strange violet glow. Oh, I see some colored lighting effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
while up ahead um the the passage also turns and goes on but there's no strange light coming from that which which tunnel do you take light or scummy looking Left. tunnel looks like emerald is stepping towards the western part of things and um you enter a large high ceilinged cavern that is mostly dry faintly illuminated by patches of violet fungi fungi that are growing on the walls and ceiling there's a wide pool of clear water that stands just inside the entrance and a pair of ledges runs along the chamber's north and south walls, accessed by wooden ladders. At the far end of the chamber, the floor drops into a pit, the top of a ladder just visible at its edge. Scattered across the floor of the room are a number of bedrolls and assorted personal possessions, including, strangely, a number of dressmakers' dummies, some of them child-sized. The low, haunting melody of the woman singing carries through the chamber from the pit. The pit is this part? Yes. A weird place. Uh, Indeed. Is there any knowledge check for this? Like what? What, what lives high above, but also down below? What's this thing? What is going on? <laughs> there is no knowledge check that will help you here. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it, it's time for us to improvise the knowledge check and make the situation speak for itself uh, mm -hmm. in this case later i think so as you as the group uh, moves into this chamber i will need will saves from everyone ah oh, god damn it i, I, I knew it i'm just gonna Sorry. assume that guy is with the group and yeah, Sorry. yeah 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 Sorry about that. Uh, okay. saves. a bit difficult to control things on this are you on the tablet? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's no problem. We can just move you along. Will something. 22, 19, 22, 10 for it, 31, 14. If it's, if it's an enchantment, it he's got a plus four, and if it's mind affecting, he's immune. And uh, uh, do we do we roll okay. for the baby to also? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Really? Death by baby. Nice. Well, that's that's a baby for you. Can't like even in the face of this strangeness. Uh okay, so that's 19 for Emerald, 22 for the doctor. It is 10, 31 for Alhindri, 14 for Gaia. Gaia and um, MRL, as you walk to this chamber, you look around, and as you look around, you like, you feel your 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 drive, um, your your like uh, inner motivation kind of fade away, and it's replaced by just this listlessness it's a lack of excitement for everything it's like it's just even just not, moments ago everything was well somewhere between terrifying and fascinating and, and now it's all just like well what's even the point <laughs> and you feel like you um, you would just like to sit here and just wait for the world to end mm -hmm. above because you know, what's the point? 
Walker actually takes out the, the necklace and starts listening to it, like Alindri suggests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just hear the sound of the ocean. Yeah, he's just kind of like despondent like that. Yeah. So, uh, MRL, um, Doctor, you can still move normal until I say otherwise. There's no particular effect, like no condition that okay. goes with this. But as I said, you just feel this complete lack of excitement and intense listlessness replace your more complex emotions that you had before. I see. Okay. Also, I guess I could. Uh, so, uh, can we actually rec recognize that uh, we we have been influenced this way? Mm, if you fail a save, I don't think so. Only if you make it, you know, notice that something that you shrugged off something. But if you fail, you just you just succumb to the effect. So, yeah. Just to be clear, Alhindri and It are both unaffected. Yes, they are. Um, do, else do, we are right. Does she notice that everyone is suddenly acting like her? Yeah. She, <laughs> I mean, that doesn't take a sense motive check because MRL, I mean, they really, like, all of their tension yeah, drops. They, they started slouching in, in, instantly. Right, they lower their weapons. Uh, yeah. uh, um, the doctor probably puts his bombs away, yeah. like uh, just holds the the baby like uh, uh, pre in a pre pretty precarious position. Oh God! Doesn't even care for that mm -hmm. anymore. I mean, it was a, it was a baby oh boy. Um, I don't even know how she would respond to this. She's not like. She sees everybody relaxing and yeah. kind of Hi. looking around. <laughs> Almost. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's the knee length. Oh, well. Anyhow. Well, it's good to see you all finally relaxing for once. You're always so focused on things. Shh, 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 shh. You're here. I can hear the, the woman's. Sea. You, you hear the woman's voice come echo up from the, the pit. Shh, shh. shh. What do we see if we look down? Move over to the pit. You see uh, a cowering figure down there. She has her back turned to you. You only hear her humming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she's rocking back and forth, cradling the child, probably, uh. baby, sitting in that pit. There is a ladder that leads down there. She could climb it. She doesn't look like she's hurt or anything. Um, for even from the back, you can see that she is somewhat disheveled, um, but doesn't look severely injured or anything like that. Dress is very simple, linen uh, clothes, <clears throat> dark hair, kind of stringy, and oh. she's singing a little lullaby. Well, I guess. It's time to make this situation speak for itself. So, uh, Aaron X will, well, he will probably lean over a little, a little bit and will raise his voice, ask, asking, um, hey, "Hey, you over there? What? Uh, so, explain yourself. What's, who, uh, what is this place and who are you? What are you doing in there? What's going on? What is this horrible noise? Hush, hush, hush." She says, and she turns around, looks up at you, and you see her face um, and her, her she, but you still have a hard time understanding. 
this a young woman? Is this an old woman? It's impossible to, to guess her age because her eyes are just dull and colorless. Her skin is has this, this sort of ashen complexion. Her gaze seems almost empty. But there is this eerie kind of unnameable radiance that she's exuding and as she turns towards you and she looks up she says hush my baby is sleeping oh such a happy little baby we wouldn't want to wake it up and she rocks it back and forth and as you catch sight of it you notice that what she's rocking it's not, not a baby at all. Well, it may have been at some point. <laughs> but but now it's just it. looks like the dried and desiccated husk of what may have been a small human body at some point. Is 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 uh, is she even alive? <laughs> I mean, how can you tell? Uh, I don't know by smell. You can do a knowledge religion on her. Skills. I don't have knowledge religion actually, so. But I have very high intelligence. Wait, no, what's this? Uh, Emeril could try. Would, um, would the dark tapestry lore help me here? Or not? Yes, it might. Um, but Emerald and Doctor, if you don't think that she's a ghost, uh, you don't think she's undead, the radiance that's coming from her, you don't think that's really her. If it seems more like that's something on her, or that's taken hold of her. It's but not like possessed. It's very, very strange. And Alhindri, 25. Um, well, you've, you've seen that before, Alhindri, in, uh, when you were lucky enough to gaze at the space beyond the stars in one of your dreams, maybe. Everything was so colorful out there. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Mwah. That sounds uh -oh. like something. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Alhindri, that's exactly what Alhindri does. She just looks at it and she's like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, well, what do you mean, uh oh? I mean, is it, you don't say uh oh. Why, why do you say uh oh? What does this mean? Huh? Alert. And no colors. <sighs> oh. Colors, what colors? There's uh, colors everywhere around here. I mean, I am colorful. At least she doesn't seem hostile yet. Yeah, I don't even know what to do about this one. <laughs> um, Alhindri, uh, although I suppose the, the realization of the danger probably makes... Uh, uh, Alhindri realize how like unconcerned everyone else is, and uh, she she'll probably turn to the doctor and she'll say, "We we should leave this place. It's important." And she'll like try to look into his face and like uh -huh. she's she's looking for a sense of urgency there. Probably doesn't see one. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
you can repeat that once once twice more i mean it's not like anyone any one of us wants to be here uh, hush hush up there you'll wake up the others they're sleeping they uh, need their sleep they will become big quiet. and strong Oh, our little fosterlings. Oh, but for us, mother is more of those. <sighs> uh, given given what we know that babies are given and that there's some sort of trade that we fought a big sharky thing mm -hmm. are, are we putting two and two together that they turn human babies into shark people, shark people? scum or, or what they are supposed to be Ugh. Yeah. well uh, has anybody given me a knowledge nature check yet on those fish people well we we didn't really. Like I mean, fish. I don't think we actually named them scum, but we can, I guess. Oh, no, we can't. You don't care. <laughs> uh, no, those are fish people. Yes, <laughs> I mean, who who cares what these? backwater people do in their backwater town yeah in, in the water in in the actual backwater yeah <sighs> well she doesn't speak to us And you walk up to We're the moving. passage, to the passage, to the to the northern passage. The um, guy just shuffling along his companions. Yeah, kind of like the northern days. And the northern passage that just you know uh, goes on for a while and snakes around a corner, lost in darkness. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should we take a take that woman out? Um, maybe let's just see what else is in here. Or who else is in here? Do we see a barrier here on it or anything? Well, I'll put a barrier there because the map is uh, kind of contracted here. So this this tunnel also continues on for a while, but there's this. There's still this like violet light from the fungi that extends into this passageway, and it's uh, it's kind of changing in in hue a little bit as it goes mm -hmm. on, sort of fading in color. Uh, well, maybe we can check the northern part. Yeah, of the cave. Quietly, we don't the want passage to wake anything up. Yeah, the the other passage. The other passage. Okay. Well, you uh, keep walking into the dark passage. Oh, that that part. Okay, okay, I see. Hmm. Um. No, Emerald, Doctor, you do not want to do that. Oh, no. there's That's just true. no, there's just no point in yeah. even leaving this place. Because there's just, you know, there's just going to be more this destruction and, and, and sick 
uh, uh, transformations I know. that are awaiting you. So what's even the point? Uh, maybe we should just br oh, break so it. Sorry. No, sorry, no, sorry. No. I'm, I'm, being, I'm reading this a little bit too strictly, I guess. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's, maybe we should just break a camp for for a few hours. In this lovely place, yeah. no, but, but like I said, I kind of uh, uh, read that too strictly. So you do feel this this tug uh -huh. that as you as you move away from this chamber where you first felt this in, in, intense listlessness, you feel like your legs are getting heavier mm. a little bit, but you you you're still free to go if you want. Oh, okay. Huh. I see. Well, Not had a rest in a long time. I know, yeah. And <clears throat> maybe just a, a, cup of, a cup of hot tea will be nice. Yeah, well, I won't recharge my spells. Mm -hmm. If we get into any sort of trouble, I'll just be sitting in a corner. Uh, Emerald is going to look behind that uh, guy and Alhindri. Are you coming? Yeah, Sorry, yeah, we're coming. I'm thinking about my mythic tears. <laughs> the, these I'm lights, yeah, these lights, they play strange things to your mind. I mean, you call over to Alhindri, and from from the pit, the woman interjects. Oh, the colors. The colors will make ev everything all better. Of course they will. Well, checks out that other chamber that connects, uh, or seems to connect back to the first chamber that you came in. Um, it's essentially a series of natural terraces that forms a sloping passage ascending to this cavern. Murky black waters filled with piles of compost and detritus flood the sloping northern floor of the cavern, and a multitude of fungi and colorless subterranean creepers grow over and within this vile stew. Uh -huh. well. Vile stew? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. And within this vile stew, something else? Nothing. Or was that no, the end? There's uh, a multitude of fungi and colorless subterranean creepers grow over and within ah, okay. this vile stew. Okay. Uh, huh. <laughs> well, uh, colorless. It, uh, it's just getting nicer and nicer. Yeah. It went so wet, I said, just setting everything on fire. You step in, take a look around. Um, you see a, 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 sh a shimmer, and then you squint and you spot a shining metal helmet among the detritus in this chamber. Hmm. And there's also something stuck in the rubbish near it. Looks like... Uh, also, like the, some sort of necklace or amulet. Do they look magic? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you detect in magic. In a... Do I Do you actually detect magic them. without without having to hold it? Uh, I I have the spell detect magic. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's so you use you cast the spell and you sense magic from the from the helmet, but not from the amulet. Okay, uh, well, he's gonna come closer and pick up the helmet. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear you say. <laughs> uh, As you come closer, you reach out for the helmet, and all of a sudden, with a big splash, a creature rises from the fetid waters. Um... It looks like this tangle of uh, plants and vines and 
dripping slime that uh, uh, oozes off of it. But it has two trunk-like legs, mm -hmm. and it is reeking of rot. Um, I have a picture. <coughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> so that, that's not an Ortuga that I thought it would be. And this uh, rises from the water. It was virtually impossible to spot among all of these creepers and vines that were, were uh, growing in there. So it is going to get a quick surprise action. Um, yeah, Linder wants to adopt it. Hmm. <laughs> And it is simply going to try and slam you with one of its slams. That's a 21 to hit. Um, I uh, think you cannot be surprised. I guess. Uh, no, I can. I can be surprised. It's just that I can take AOOs when flat footed. Okay, in that case, you're flat footed. Uh, no, that's a miss. All right. Well, but now you are aware of its presence, and so is everybody else. So we can roll for initiative. Wait, was that technically a surprise round? Yes. Oh, right. Yes, it's a surprise round, Anthony. Uh, I have so surprise. few opportunities to use this ability. <laughs> um, I don't I even have remember thing. what it was, but I, I have know a that thing. you have a thing. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I'm forewarned of danger. Yeah, actually, this makes perfect sense. Elhendry's just like, something bad is coming. Something bad. Uh, can't take actions in a surprise round. Uh, except for Flash of Insight. Okay, so she has a fla she has Flash of Insight. Um, which I have to figure out <laughs> what the heck that is. Because, of course, I don't actually have it on my sheet. And it's not defined here. Wait, uh, you you're for word of, of danger, but you're always staggered in the first round. So uh... yeah, but if there's no if there's no surprise round, I'm staggered in the first round. But there is a surprise round, so I'm not staggered. Uh huh. And I have flash of insight. Is, is that like the Cyclops thing? Yep. Okay. Cool. I need to look. Hang on, sorry. I should have had that on my sheet. But Is it's it just like, never actually come up. Like the Cyclops? It's the Cyclops, yeah, ability. Okay, once per day is an immediate action, a Cyclops can peer into an occluded visual spectrum of possible futures, gaining insight that allows it to select the exact result of one die roll before the roll is made. What? That's that's the one. And what? That's what I pay for by being staggered at the beginning of every combat. So That's what are you going to use it on? Get out of it. Uh, well, I get motive check. <laughs> I get to choose um, when it comes into play, right? Uh, uh, I'll just say before the roll is made. If you can only any action taken by the Cyclops only. I mean, as an immediate action, I would assume that yeah. means in the surprise round. Psychops can peer into an occluded visual spectrum of possible. Yeah, that's the that's the only action I can take. So I guess I have to take it during the surprise round. The exact result of one die roll before the roll is made. This effect. Wait, uh, what's the ability called in for the summoner? Okay, it's or... the powerless prophecy curse. Powerless prophecy. Okay, you have forewarned of danger. Wait, no, where is it? You're full one of danger, but can't act to prevent it. You gain uncanny dodge as the recovery. You can't take any actions in a surprise round, including free actions, except for flash of insight. In the absence of a surprise round, you're tag it for the entire first round of combat. See revelations below.
there are the Oracle Revelations. Uh, Revelation. Uh, what's Sorry. Your... <laughs> this is weird. Uh, what's your your where are your revelations coming from? Your mystery? What's your mystery? My, I don't have a. I don't actually have a mystery. I don't think. Okay. I just have I just have the uh, the oracle curse. As part of my archetype, for a summoner class. I'm a soulbound summoner, which gives me a pact bound curse, which is an oracle curse. I'm trying to figure out how this is supposed to work. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you can't take actions except for flash of insight. It kind of makes me think that there is another flash of insight that's not the uh, Cyclops. I, I, nah, I, I feel like it's. That was meant for when you do have the for uh, oracles that can take the flash of insight revelation, and so the two go go hand in hand. Wait, a flash of insight is a kind of revelation. I think it's there's a uh, uh, let me double check, but I think it's uh, there's a. An oracle archetype that locks you into a certain uh, mystery, the the whole Cyclops thingy. Uh, what is it? Uh... Cyclopean seer. Ah, uh, is that what it's referencing? So, yeah, so you don't actually get it. You don't get Flash of Insight. It's just that it says if you have Flash of Insight, you could use it. Oh. Okay. In the absence, so you, but still, what's the point? Well, I guess it's the point is the it's it's not a it doesn't come with an upside. It really is just that you cannot take actions in a surprise round. Well, you you do get uncanny dodge though, so it's not all bad. Right. At least I'm not staggered. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that... well, I'm not staggered. At least we cleared that up, and now I'm going to roll everyone's initiatives. And we are going to get started. Why is it not sorting? Wait, that's weird. Let's finish this real quick, start over. So I want everyone to be part of the tracker, and then I roll for everyone, and then begin combat. Yeah, I guess that's how that works. Okay, MRL, you are actually, after the surprise round, the first one to act. Uh, well, does MRL know what this thing is? You can give me a knowledge nature check if you are so trained. Nope. He does not know that. Uh, well, um, when in doubt, try to stab it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that strategy. Yeah, I, I think I've heard a, a small giggle in, in Simon's voice right now because he wants you to stab it. <laughs> 29 to hit is a hit. And that's 21 points of piercing damage. Which you actually do, but uh, you poke something um, like a it was some sort of pocket or uh, like a, a, a pus no. yeah something like that. Um, but you pierce it and it erupts and um, 
discharges a cloud of yellow spores in a 10 foot radius, which means you get some of that. You're exposed to it. Um, and I will need a fortitude save as you try to avoid inhaling any of that. Sixteen. It's not enough. And uh, some of it gets into your mouth and into your lungs and you start coughing. Okay, that is your turn. Let me, um, bum, bum, bum. Here. <coughs> Don't forget. All right, and then it's the doctor's turn. All right, so, well, it's time to put the baby back in the bag. It, uh, I don't remember, was it a move action or a, a, a standard? Move action. Uh -huh. uh, well, and I think I will just y try to check a bomb at this thing from uh, this distance, which I guess it will give me minus two, right, uh, to the, or the range penalty. Uh, if that's well, 25, yeah, that is minus 2. So, yeah. And that should be it. Combat bombs. Single attack. One. Not showing up. Oh, right. Sorry. It, it, it has uh, the template. Boom. The bomb goes off, hits the thing, um, does 17 points of fire damage. And at first it looks like the fire is not going to have any effect on it, but then some of it gets singed a little bit. And that's that. Yeah. Okay, and then it's Alhindri's turn. Oh, right, but you... No, this is a regular yeah. round, and you're not staggered. She's not staggered. I knew something bad was going to happen. I just can't do anything about it. Um, mm -hmm. She is... Uh, it's not really going to change what she does too much anyway. She's just going to cast... A spell. I am starting to run out of magic. Let's see here. <coughs> Things in the water. Um... She's going to cast... Well, actually, um... Can she ready an action to cast a spell um, until after it moves? Yes. Uh, do you want to delay until after it? Would probably be the easiest. Yeah, I guess so. Might as well. I mean, I'm going to go after that thing, which is not great, but yeah, she'll just delay. Okay, and then it's Geyer's turn. Makes sense for Geyer to try and figure out what it that creature is with knowledge arcana. Or... Uh, no, 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 it would be knowledge nature. Okay. It is a kind of plant. Yeah, makes sense. Well, um, Geyer is going to... Um, Acid splash it. Splash Sorry, I'm all out of the good. I'm I'm all out of the the good level spells. So that's gonna be cantrips from here on out. You gotta roll a d three, 
And actually, you have to roll a ranged touch attack, too. Oh, crap. Just roll it to 20 first, and then we'll see. Yeah, because that thing is pretty big and thus easy to touch. And you do three points of acid damage. Yeah. And Gaia scurries a little bit behind. Up there. Yeah. Takes cover behind Alhindri. What a hero. <laughs> Hey, I'm all out of spells. I'm not feeling very well. And I'm sure Alindri is also going to move back with me. Mm. That uh, fetid spore mound is coming up. And it has pretty simple tactics. It's just going to try and slam the shit out of MRL. Yeah, but those spores are bad. We'll attack. Uh, well, it's a natural one for the first one, but the second one is a nice 34. Yep. That's 12 points of damage, and then we have a grab. People, we have a grab. Uh, there we go. 30. Uh, yeah. Whoosh, uh, he pulls. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He pulls you close as he grabs you with his vine-like tentacle appendages, and you are both grappling mm -hmm. it. But it's supposed to be um, on, on fire also, right? What? I really should have gone on my turn. I shouldn't have dropped down. I just realized I really screwed this up. Um, oh well, what's done is done. Um, I'm... Oh, shoot. I'm fine with with uh, being dropped in initiative, but can I still have that readied action? Uh, uh, Just ready action to cast a spell, because I, what I really want to do is cast it after it moves, but before it attacks. Yeah, um, sure. Whereas if I just I'm, drop I mean, an initiative, I can't. It's the I, same as it's the same as if it would ready its its standard action. Oh, I sure to, okay <laughs> to wait for right, me. So, so it's yeah. So as we slowly gonna... drop to the bottom of initiative together. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, sure. sure. So it is going to move up. Uh, let's see. Actually, yeah. Well, oh well. It's let me see. Five, ten, fifteen. Are those space? Those spaces are difficult terrain going past us. Uh, no, actually not. No, no okay. Past, no, no, because you're allies and none of you are incapacitated. Or okay. Anything. Fifteen. Um. Twenty. Oh, that's really it, huh? Shoot. Um. Oh well, I, I'm in I'm in reach, so it's not too bad. Uh, this will be twenty, and uh, I'll just shift over a little bit to create a little more room. Twenty-five, thirty, and then Alhindri's readied action, or it wait, it's or whatever you want it to do. Um, it is it's going to. She's casting enlarge person on it. Oh, and that enlarge person works because of right because she she was it already pre large. Yeah, so it's going to be huge now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we I know we worked through this once before. It it works out because yeah. she can target it with stuff that affects her. Right. Um. And. That's not right. That's that big. seems bigger than huge. Yes. <sighs> Larger than life, you might say. Uh, I missed out on a full attack by doing this, but oh well. Um, yeah, if if you if you don't change that, but if you actually change the like, I know what you're I know what you're adjusting on the token. If you change the one that's like instead of two by two, making it three by three, it'll actually yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. put it in the correct squares and it will um, 
now that it is enlarged, it will make an attack against the thing, the the whatever it is. Going to try and bite it. Or you would as Mr. Spormound. <laughs> or Mrs. Or whatever. Actually, you know what? I don't think it wants to bite it. That's That would be a bad idea. It's just going to try and grapple it. Okay. Which I believe is the same as if I just make a grab attempt. Um, yes, see. it should be. All right. It's just going to try and grapple it. And... Whoa. There's a little animation. What the heck? 39 to grapple? Yep, that is enough to grapple it. So now right. you're joining the grapple. Now I drag it in to be adjacent to me. <laughs> Pulling it out of the water. And now you're one pile of grappling combatants. Emerald, you're the smallest <laughs> pawn in this play. Wait, now I have to think about how swallowed hole works. Hang on. <laughs> Shoot. Well, well, does it work we'll a bit? Of... Yeah, we'll does it does it. It's on your, on your next turn. You have to start already grappling for it. And, okay. Uh, Alhindri still has a move action? Yeah. Um, well, she can also use a mythic surge to grant the creature another attack, which is why mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure it out right now. Oh, God. She's got the, the guardian, the, the beast's fury ability, which she has to burn a mythic point for. Um, expend one uh, swift action. The animal companion cohort, whatever, blah, 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 gets... Can move up to its speed, which it's already done. It can make an attack with one of its natural weapons. So... Do I actually have to have it grappled with my mouth to perform the swallow hole, or do I have to... Uh, I believe it says something like that. Oh, God. Well, let's see. Swallow, hole. swallow, hole. No, oh, no, there's no... Oh, I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. No, I think that was me, actually. Uh, begins, uh, yes, it says begins its turn with an opponent grappled in its mouth. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that was a mistake then. I should have actually made a bite. Yikes. Really bungled this one. Well, you can bite, um, bite right now. I'll have it bite right now. Okay. While we're already grappled. Let me make While sure I've got yeah, grappled. That makes sense. On. Grappled. Grappled. All right, it's a 28. That is enough. Uh, eight points of damage. Um, you are doing BPS, of course. So, yeah, that's eight points of damage, and you continue to grapple. Wow, could have had it swallowed this round. Oh well, that's it for Alhindri. Mm hmm. Give me a second. Okay, uh, f f I believe that how this is going to work is you're going to start your turn. Oh, give me, oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Well, we'll deal with it when it comes around. But first, it is um, MRL needs to make a fortitude save. Okay. Okay. You continue to cough for a little bit, taking one point of constitution damage, but uh, you spit out a chunk of yellow spores, and you would hope that that's it. 
and it's your turn. Uh, well, this is very, very uncomfortable. Uh, I guess he is going to try to break from this three-way and fail. Yeah, but you can't escape any of these guys. So that's that. And then that's the doctor's turn. All right. Um, maybe he'll try the the minus five. What? Oh, you mean the interrupt? Can you do that? Uh, yeah. No, no, you don't. Don't do it in place of a of an attack. Okay, it is a standard, a standard action standard. to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I I have only two bombs left, so I can throw both of them at at this creature, and well, the, then I will be completely out. As, and we'll have to just go f try to tear it with my claws. E by the way, is uh, this creature on fire? Uh, yeah, it is burning. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, I I I'm I'm still will go will use both of my bombs at this on on it one way or another. So I'll just make full attack. Five foot step forward. Mm -hmm. uh, I will exclude <coughs> the huge tentacle monster and uh, Emerald from the blast, and we'll just try to burn it. Uh, once again, you uh, you have to enunciate, so you will excuse uh, exclude the huge tentacle monster, but not the large <laughs> tentacle monster. Yes, exactly. That's why I said, because mm -hmm. well, there is only one large tentacle monster here. Correct. Right. Uh, there it is. Full attack. Yeah, and you see, you see that the creature is still burning because it caught fire from your first bomb, mm -hmm. but uh, the fire doesn't seem to consume any of it, so it, it's already dying. Mm. And now I will have to, to check if I have any sort of. Well, I don't have liquid ice anymore, so I, my bombs are my only choice right now. All right. You should grapple it. I know. It seems to be like a swell <laughs> idea. Uh, wow, that's a lot of dice. So it's 24 to hit, which is a hit. And then that's 17 points of fire damage. Uh, once again, only some of that damage go comes through. Second bomb is a 25. It's also a hit. And once again, only a little bit of that fire actually d seems to do any harm. And the rest of the fire dies quickly. <laughs> Geyer. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. um, well, acid splash. It's pretty much. Wait, no, I have one more. I'm gonna save my magic missiles because I don't want to run out of the good stuff. So. Yeah. Right, kind of uh, tapped out here. Rage touch. There it is. Uh, that'll be enough for two points of acid damage. Yeah, and sorry guys, I'm a bit tapped out. And then it's the mound's turn. And it will try to break free. Uh, using its fairly impressive CMB. What's uh, the... What's its CMD? Its CMD is... Uh actually not amazing right now it's only 23 all right so the 32 no actually that's a plus six that should be a 36 um we'll let it break free from its grapple <clears throat> and it will however not let it do anything to emeril i rule because 
it has to decide, I think. If you can either... Or actually, let me double check because it does. <laughs> Something up real quick. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, it can't really do this on this turn, but I forgot to do it the first turn, so I'm just going to add it now. As it grappled Emerald, it squeezed real hard and did five points of con nope, 17 <coughs> points of constrict damage to him. Okay. On top of everything else, and then it is it. Okay, I think I can do this now. <laughs> it's gonna delay its turn. Alright. I turned off the grappled. Oh, thank you, yes. Grappled. And Al Hindri. Oh, until when? Does, do you already know? Until after Al Hindri. Okay. And it's Al Hindri's <laughs> turn. Al Hindri is going to. Oh. Roll, um, god, she's not, she's just gonna use another mythic, uh, spend another mythic power to give the Eidolon another attack on its turn, or, or rather give it a, an immediate attack. My god, I'm so turned around. Okay. Okay, so she needs to burn another one of these. Getting that extra mythic tier really helped, because now she's got more. Um, so it will immediately attack and it, because it's Beast Fury, it actually, what it should be doing is rolling twice and taking the higher result, uh, which I neglected last time. Okay. So it's going to attack twice with its bite to take the higher result. Uh... Uh, wow, just a 17 to hit, and then a 32. The 32 is a hit. Okay, and now it'll do the grab associated with the bite. So that's 10 points of damage and a 40 to grab. A 40 is enough to grab. Okay, now it's grabbed. In the mouth. Yeah. Just grab. exactly where I need it to do a swallow hole on its turn. Okay, I see, I see, I see where this is going. And then it's its turn. Right? It's going to attempt to swallow whole. <laughs> I have no idea what's about to happen to Emeril, but... <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, it is grappled. You can attempt a new combat maneuver check as though attempting to pin. Okay. And, of course, that succeeded. So... It is 17 points of damage. That is accurate. Oh, that happens when you swallow whole? Yeah, it takes the damage from the bite. I believe, doesn't it? Possible. Uh, if it succeeds and the opponent takes bite damage. So that happens first. So it takes bite damage. And... What happens next? <laughs> And uh, unless otherwise noted, opponent can be up to one size could be smaller. Being swallowed causes the creature to take damage each round. The amount and type of damage varies is given the creature that swallowed the creature keeps grapple condition, while the creature that did swallowing does not. Okay. Well, what happens to Amaral? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the can't. Like turned up. Yeah. <laughs> He's technically um, still adjacent to to its square. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, 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 I think then that's what's going to happen. Like, the, the uh, it is going to, like, a snake devouring an egg. It's going to swallow the creature yeah. whole. But it's not like he's just mm -hmm. swallowing it, actually. But it's more, it's more like shoving it into its mouth. 
Cool. Yeah, it's it looks little. Like it's, it's little. It's, fin its, it's finger teeth are like pulling it in. As yeah, it goes. pushing, <laughs> pushing it in. And while at the same time, those long vines still reach out of the the maw of Et and Emeril, still <laughs> in its clutches, <laughs> getting pulled into it <laughs> as well. <laughs> Just imagine, Emerald, you just see the mouth working its way along the body, like, closer and closer towards you until it's just the tentacles hanging out. Uh, yeah, but I think that uh, this is the part where we make another sanity check. <laughs> and it's your turn, Emerald. Uh, I don't know what what he could do apart from maybe try to do smash those few tentacles oh, yeah well try to break free uh he could try that uh yeah tmb or escape artist yeah. well that's, oh, no. that's not other i guess you just you'll probably just be like well i mean this is what's the point exactly <laughs> that's just Let's just all get devoured by the. Are you guys still beast. being? Oh, you're still being affected by that. What is that even doing to you? Yeah, it's it. Nothing it's will making fly. Making smoothie teenagers like so sad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so this is really strange. So, uh, well, I am completely out of options, almost. So I will m walk up to. Emerald. I'm assuming this thing can't actually attack, attack of opportunity me from outside of t it. <laughs> no, so, that, that, yeah, I guess. I mean, you 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 see the vines like flail out yeah. of its mouth, but it's not like it's attacking. Uh, I, I I guess I'll try to just uh, grab Emerald and uh, pull him out if uh, that's. Uh, yeah, that's, can, an, that's can, an eight. Another on Emerald's next grapple check. Yeah, that's uh, and weird. We'll, we'll roll it when Emerald rolls his. And while I'm touching, t I will spend one my last point of my spontaneous healing ability to heal him for five hit points. Nice. Okay, Gaia's turn. I, I think acid splash does doesn't really do anything so he's just gonna watch in strange fascination like, as everything uh, unfolds. Yep. Look, looks like we got this covered <laughs> yeah i mean i would hate to be emerald right at this point but you know. <laughs> yeah I'm, okay all I'm right off the, for sushi forever the spore mounds turn um Keeps uh, grappled conditions, blah, can try to cut its way free with any light slashing or piercing. It has slams, so <laughs> it doesn't really have a slashing or piercing slam. <coughs> so it's really just shit out of luck? I guess so. It can try to escape the grapple, right, by it getting back into the mouth. Oh, there it is. If, a, if the smaller creature escapes, escapes the gravel, success puts it back in the mouth. Where it may be bitten or swallowed again. Great! Okay, yeah, it's going to try to do that because that is the best thing it can do. Um, and... 28. No, sorry, that's the wrong modifier. It should be plus 20 on the check. So it's a 34. Yeah, it'll be back out in the mouth. Okay, so... Essentially, it get um, shows back up. So, Emeril, you see from the depths of its uh, uh, throat, you see that thing pushing its way back. It's still holding on to you. I mean, you are its prey. It's instinctively just keeping you wrapped tightly in its vine. Um, but it doesn't have the, the bandwidth to at the same time also constrict and make you... Hurt. Oh, doesn't it doesn't it take damage though from being swallowed before it gets out? I think at your turn, on your turn, it would have taken damage oh, okay. because it already it already took the bite damage from being swallowed. Okay. All right, Alhindri. Uh, <laughs> um, Alhindri is going to. Alhindri's going to delay her turn until after it. 
<laughs> All right, it's its turn. It um, let me put the grappled condition back on it, but it will attempt once again to swallow. All right. The 31. That is enough. All right. It goes back in. It takes 11 <laughs> more points of damage. And it gets bitten and swallowed. And this time it uh, stops fighting back and it continues to like uh, push it down and then sucks in the last of its vines like a noodle. And Emerald rolls on the cave floor. As he is released by the now dead creature. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, that was disturbing. Absolutely. And <laughs> disgusting. And way too dangerous. And fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah. It just makes slurping noises. <sighs> mm -hmm. Well. Uh, I, I am completely out of healing, Emeril. So, here, uh, drink this uh, potion of cure moderate wounds that I have in my inventory. Is there any possibility at any point in the near future to take just a little bit of a rest? Oh, come on, I clicked. And... Can Alhendry make some sort of check to to try and figure out what has what is affecting her friends? Like she sees them being kind of lackadaisical about this whole thing. Yes, uh, that would be a sense motive check. Yeah, even the combat did not like seem to snap them out of it. I guess. Yeah, right. you you felt like Emeril was really giving in to just being you know, grappled and and constricted to death. Sense motive. She's so good at that. Oh god, yeah. she's awful at sense motive. Yeah. Oh no. Apparently I didn't write down the uh, actual actions for cure moderate wounds potion. Well, I think of 15 since... is enough to know that they are acting strangely and they do not act like they are their normal selves. But what exactly it is that has come over them is hard for you to grasp. I mean, you you know lines of, of lesser, quote-unquote, intelligent beings are their playground. So maybe it is something from out there that's starting to reach in and manipulate them. Alhindri would move up to... Oh, the game's paused. Okay. Um, but she would... I don't know she, why. She would move up to the doctor and she would, like, grab a hold of him by the shoulders, uh, look up into his face and be like, I, I know... You probably don't believe me, but you're acting strange. All of you. you I, I don't know if you can see it. Do we now? <sighs> and what, what is kind of strange from your point of view? There's something, I think, that is trying to reach out and touch you. I recognize it. It's the same thing. The same way that I was when I was in that place, uh, the, the hospital. Well, that's mildly disturbing. I don't want to be touched like you were. It's the same look I would see in my reflection. You have to find some way to, to fight it. You're being affected. I don't know what to do. Hmm... You know what to do, don't you? Yeah, it will come you to know me. These things. I think just sit down and relax. It, it will come to me eventually. 
Uh-huh. You, you don't understand. Ah, uh, uh, what, what's, what's it? What can I do? What's it gonna take? I know. They need to have a tentacle monster enter into their consciousness. Oh, oh no. And then give them back their sanity. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no. I don't Wait, think that'll no, work that, twice. That, yeah, that's that's more disturbing proposition than. <laughs> I would prefer a tentacle monster not to enter me in any in any fashion. Don't you have potions? Says Alhindri, completely ignoring that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have potions, doctor, or or yeah. or medicines or something to clear I, your head? I, Surely you must. I have a potion of water breathing, <laughs> I, but I, it doesn't ki- uh, cure my mind. I, I don't need cure my mind. My uh, my mind is very clear, especially when I'm read like this. <coughs> so when when I stop being read, it <coughs> so it's like a cloud over my reason. <sighs> uh, injury comes over to Emeril and she's like, Emeril, you you have to believe me. There's something wrong with you. You, you have to see it. I have a shield extract left. See what? Yeah, I oh, think I'll sit down here. I think Al Hindri is probably getting like really scared now because the other stuff she's seen is creepy, but seeing her friends behave like this and like recognizing like, oh god, this is how I used to be is probably, probably really shaking her up. Mm-hmm. And she, I think, is pretty much powerless to do anything about it. I'm trying to look, look at her. She's, like, she, she's not a... The only thing she can really help and heal is her... Her... Hold on. Um... There's one thing. <coughs> By the way, uh, I don't think our mythic abilities include any rerolls on the saves, right? I don't know. I mean, check your abilities. Hmm. Uh. Emmer is going to go sit in the corner and finally pick up that helmet. Was this all mm. worth it? Yeah, that, that's, that's the important thing. The, the shiny ones. I mean, it won't be eventually, that's for sure. Mm. Because nothing it, really is. It's like a helm of mind shielding, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you to pick up the helm and you are struck by uh, how untarnished it it is. It looks like a like a campaign helm metal uh still kind of shiny and do you have any ranks in history does anybody have any ranks in history Uh, yes oh dire as well Mm -hmm. actually no well um you recognize it as the helmet of a Taldane uh, marine from the times of the Shining Crusade. Oh. So this was the helmet of a brave warrior fighting back the hordes of the Whispering Tyrant. Hmm. How fitting. Yeah. Is it fitting And though? they are all dead now. Yeah. How yeah. fitting. Yes. Speaking of fitting, does it fit on on, here, on your head, Emerald? Well, you weigh it in your hands for a little bit, and you uh, close your eyes, tune into its history. You see all, all the death that it has seen, how it couldn't protect its owner. Um, you you sense, in a way, you sense the Marine's presence still, as he probably rotted to compost in this very chamber. But the helmet itself, um, 
uh, yeah, you, is is special, and you learn that it is in fact a helm of underwater action. Oh, that that would be useful. I mean, I wouldn't hold my breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't anymore. What this means is that you can see underwater um, boom, 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 boom. five times farther than water and light conditions would allow for normal human vision, vision. And if you speak the command word, the helm gives you a 30-foot swim speed and creates a globe of air around the wearer's head and maintains it until the command word is spoken again. That is pretty good. Cool. Yeah, it is very good. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a camera also worth 24,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And that's not counting historical value. That is true. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, that's, that I was think, good. Uh, that, yeah, I think since it's a triumphant time for you right now, um, uh, we better call it quits before anybody dies. Mm 